What is up guys? Welcome to the South Coast. On today's video, I'm going to show you what I carry on in my pockets every day. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so like I said, we're going to go through, show you what I keep in my pockets. So for my day job, I'm a mechanical engineer in an aerospace industry. Um, so do a little bit of hands-on work, a lot of uh, control console work, uh, stuff like that. So we're always trying to help out where I can in the field, swapping out valves and all that sort of thing. Um, but this is what I carry on a daily basis whenever I go to work. First things first, just an iPhone. I think this is a 14 Pro uh, with this quad lock case on it. Um, keep a screen protector on it. And I usually have a protector for the cameras, but that protector has cracked. I pulled it off, haven't replaced it yet. Next up in the right pocket, along with the iPhone, is the Benchmade Osborne. Um, really need to send this off to get properly resharpened. I've been trying to keep it sharp myself, um, but I think I've gotten gotten a little wonky with the edge. Uh, it's gotten a little out of profile, so probably time to send that back. I use this thing, like I said, every day. It's real beat up. Uh, used it as a hammer to try to get some valves to. Uh, work for me, uh, which actually worked out, but use it all the time. We, whenever we're uh, mating up pipe at work, we have to cut the tape off of the ends. We keep them taped up to keep them clean and dry. And so this blade has seen a lot of abuse, uh, just sort of running around the outside of a pipe flange, getting the tape cut off of it, and, uh, getting things ready to put together. So Benchmade Osborne 940 in the right pocket. Along with the phone and the Benchmade in the right pocket is a Sharpie marker. Uh, some sort of marking marker, uh, whether it's this Sharpie Pro series or just a regular Sharpie. I always keep some sort of permanent marker. Uh, so when I'm out in the field, if I need to mark something uh, for somebody else to come by and, and see or mark something for guys who are working on uh, some jobs with me, I'll have that in my pocket for doing that. All right, moving on to the left pocket. First thing in that pocket is ear protection. I have these custom molded earplugs. I got them made at a performance racing industry show years ago. I need to get a new set made. I have this little tip that's broken off, but these custom molded earplugs, super nice. Um, being able to just pull them out of my pocket, throw them in my ears very quickly. You're not waiting on like a foam earplug to expand and, and kill that noise. Um, we have a lot of loud noises at work, some of which are unexpected. Um, we have relief valves that may go off uh, and you get a really loud venting noise. It's good to have that ear pro in your pocket ready to pop in your ears to go address the problem without damaging your hearing. That's one of those things that I try to always keep on me whether I'm at work or at home, if I'm doing yard work, anything like that. That ear pro is key uh, to keeping your ears safe. Next up, I have this little sort of multi-tool screwdriver deal. Um, so I think this is a Mr. Twister or Master Twister, something like that. Um, but on this side, it's got a quarter inch drive that accepts different bits. Right now I have that flathead bit in there. On this side, it's got a threaded uh, little stud, recessed stud in there for uh, some other tools that can go on there. So you have a pick that can thread on there as well as this little punch. And then I also keep a Phillips head bit stored in there uh, in case I need that. Definitely super handy tool to have. It has gotten me out of some jams, especially that pick and those little screwdrivers. It's gotten me out of some jams uh, while I'm out in the field. Um, just being able to work on little things here and there without having to run up to the building or to the truck or anything like that to find a different tool or whatever. So that's been super helpful. All right, so for my wallet, uh, just use this card holder. I don't keep a ton of stuff on me. Uh, it holds a few cards on the inside and I usually have my ID here on the outside. Um, just took it out for the video. But this thing works really well. It slips right into my front left pocket. Um, I don't keep anything in my back pockets. I don't like sitting on anything. I used to have a bifold wallet 
um, that I would put in my back right pocket and sitting on it, uh, just uncomfortable. Um, I sort of got away with that, away from that. So I really don't keep anything in my back pockets. I get all this stuff into my front, my two front pockets. Um, but yeah, that is the wallet. Shout out to my sister-in-law for giving that to me for my birthday a couple of years ago. Next thing is my keys. You guys know if you watch all my other videos, drive a Ram truck. So I got key to the truck as well as some house keys on there. A little Mississippi State logo keychain. And then last but not least is the flashlight. This is a Streamlight Protac 1L 1AA. So this is a dual fuel flashlight. You can put a CR123 or a AA in there. I usually just keep double A's in there. The CR123, uh, it'll shine brighter, um, but I usually don't keep those in stock or I don't keep a stock pile of the CR123's like I do double A's and it works just fine with double A's. I don't need to have that little, little bit of extra brightness with the CR123. I use this probably more than anything else in my pocket between the, the pocket knife, the phone, and the flashlight three most used items um, I just use it all the time in my daily life at work at home whatever I'm doing I keep that flashlight on me uh, just because it's so useful even in the daytime just looking into dark areas I've uh, been doing some work on the roads here where we live and just being able to shine a light up in different holes see how how much undercut we have in the road stuff like that I used it a ton today working on that sort of stuff so that's it that is my EDC pocket dump, uh, all pretty simple stuff, all useful stuff that I use pretty much on a regular basis, and uh, stuff that is pretty well available to everyone out there. Um, I'll put links for some of this stuff that I can find links for. I'll put them down in the description if you want to check them out. Obviously, I can find links for the phone, for the phone case, the knife, markers, flashlights, this multi-tool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a link for the wallet. That may have been just from a small shop. Uh, I'll look for that. If I can find it, I'll put it in there. Um, and then the earplugs. To be honest, I forgot the company name that made those for me at the PRI show. So, uh, probably not going to have a link for those. But anyway, that is going to wrap this one up. Simple, short, sweet video. Show you what I carry on a daily basis as a mechanical engineer in the aerospace industry. As always, I hope you all have a good one. We'll catch you next time down here on the South Coast.